Hello, and thanks for this opportunity to participate in this session around data center strategies. The ORNL DAC is one of 12 distributed active archive centers in the NASA EOSTIS. Each DAC has a particular area of specialization in science community that we serve. The ORNL DAC's focus is terrestrial ecology, particularly the data collected from NASA field campaigns, such as the current Arctic Boreal Vulnerability Experiment, or ABOVE project. As a data center that's been around since the 90s, we've seen a lot of change. While we need to change and adapt both the technology and new user needs, those changes can create disruption and work for our users. That leads me to my presentation concept, skating to where the puck might be without leaving users behind, referring in part to the quote attributed to ice hockey legend Wayne Gretzky. Like all analogies, this breaks down if we try to take it too far, but the core concept is that we need to understand what we need to be doing moving forward, even in the face of uncertainty about those future needs. Our path forward is very much a work in progress, but it starts with being a part of ESDIS. We are working together on common tools and services while clarifying where the differences in our data and science domains drive the need for more specialized tools and services. Building the application programming interface, or API, first is a best practice. We've not always done that, and there's some technical debt that we need to pay down there. But there are also moving to put these APIs behind Earth Data Login. That's not because we want to restrict access. NASA data is and will continue to be free and open. But having a user registration system lets us better understand who is using these services and more effectively communicate to change. Cloud computing is very much in people's mind, and we have significant numbers of users who are taking advantage of commercial cloud computing services, but a lot more who are not yet. And today, all of the ORNL DAX data is served from on-premise. But we are migrating towards NASA's Earth Data Cloud. This will let users who want to use cloud computing do so and have some additional capabilities and services. But users who are working in more traditional on-prem infrastructure or with a different cloud computing provider will still be able to access data the same way they do today. This is a very high level pass through a complicated subject. I'd love to discuss further. My contact information is here and on the title slide. Thank you very much.